Noah's theorem is amazing because it is not just beautiful, it is also useful. What the theorem says is that if we find a symmetry in nature, there must also be a corresponding conserved quantity somewhere. And we can also use the theorem backwards as well. If we find something has been conserved, we know that there must be some underlying symmetry that cause the conservation. If we look down into the atoms, we find the greatest conservation of them all, with matter-antimatter annihilation, with 100% energy exchange. Energy is 100% conserved, and Noah's theorem links energy conservation with time symmetry. In this theory, this is because matter-antimatter annihilation represents part of a universal geometrical process of energy exchange that forms the continuum of time. In such a theory, the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time itself, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. We have an uncertain future unfolding photon by photon with each new photon oscillation or vibration relative to the atoms of the periodic table with the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. The main effect this process of energy exchange has on us is the aging process with everything continuously changing. In this theory, intelligent life forms its own timeline or evolutionary path as an integral part of this process. Noah's theorem predicts that if this is true, there should be a continuous symmetry to the energy exchange that does not change over time. In this theory, this is represented by the line symmetry or left and right handedness that all intelligent life has with creation being in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.